Assalamu alaikum, namaskar, good morning ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Muhib Hawk, your host of our landmark program, Let's Talk Education and Career. Thank you. Let us uh, begin now. Last month, we spoke about how to pick the right university for you. And uh, today on our program, we will be speaking about how to pick the right program of study at university. So, last week, we spoke about how to pick the right university. Now, obviously, when you make a decision on the university of study, you would have also thought about the program that you were going to study. Last week, we spoke about the importance of choosing a field of study. So, for example, you're interested in business, or you're interested in engineering, or you're interested in the sciences, or you're interested in IT. What we are going to be talking about today is choosing a specialization for you. So making sure that you're picking the right major. And how do you go about making this decision? So firstly, I'm going to reiterate a point from last month, which is the university that you choose, make sure that the faculty of your choice is very strong, that it has established, it has links to the industry, its ranking and its overall standing are very good. These are some of the factors that you will need to consider when you pick a university as well. Every school or university will offer the best they have to attract and enroll students. What is crucial from a student's perspective is to see the reputation of such establishments, both in terms of the academic sector and the industry you want to work in. Try to find a school that the industry recognizes as a place that maintains both quality and consistency of academic provision as well as has good reputation in terms of graduate employability. All right, now to my second point. As well as considering the school as a whole and your program of study, you will also need to choose a specialization for your program. So for example, if you would like to do a master's in management program, you'll need to think about which part of management are you really interested in. Is it finance? Is it marketing or leadership or entrepreneurship? Your choice of specialization should be based on the interest you have in a field of study. Having a passion for a subject will help you study it better, manage time pressures during the period of the course and help you succeed in that area. Another element to consider is whether the curriculum has an international or or global edge. Bangladeshi students are always looking for programs that are recognized worldwide. So it is really important that the program of study is internationally recognized. For example, the MBA program at a university in Queensland, Australia, takes students on a two-week study tour trip to Shanghai in China. This is a way to enhance the international skills of the students. During the trip, students will visit different organizations, spending time with their management team, and then return to the classroom to reflect on how practice fits theory and vice versa. All right, so the third thing is you need to investigate the curriculum of your program of choice. Once you have made the decision about the specialization you want to study, get in touch with the school and speak to the course manager of the program. Take the opportunity to ask any questions you have about the subjects covered, assessment strategies, and the lodging behind the curriculum offered. This will give you the information you need to confidently make your choice. All right, once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is find out more about the lecturers. Whatever you want to study, it's worthwhile researching the lectures and unit modules to find out their research interests in your field. And for a design-based course, attend the end-of-year graduation shows. You'll be able to see students work, talk to them, and get a real understanding of of what the pros and cons are of the university, as well as that particular program. A good way to do that especially if you're overseas. So for example, if you're in Bangladesh and you would like to go to a university in Canada, there are alumni chapters of each university which are based in Bangladesh, in India, in Pakistan, in Singapore, in Thailand. So if you live in Dhaka, 
find out the alumni chapter of that university. I'm sure there are Bangladeshi alumni who are in the country. Get in contact with them and, uh, you know, ask them for coffee or tea and find out more information about that particular program in a Canadian university. Or if you know, if you want to go to the UK, do the same for someone who studied in the UK. The next thing that you need to do is check out work experience opportunities in your program of choice as well as the university you're going to. See if the course or the uni offers you any internship or placement opportunities. Let me give you a personal example. When I was picking my undergraduate program, it was very important that the university had a very strong career services. This is because I wanted to make sure that I was employable once I graduated as soon as possible. And as such, I picked a university that had a very strong career counseling section as well as a lot of industry links. And this certainly helped me once I graduated in terms of securing a job as soon as possible. So I urge everyone to make sure that you check out these opportunities and what, what services are available at your university of choice. The next thing that you need to check out before picking the program at a particular university is check out the support network available at that university. Everyone wants to have an amazing time at university, but when the going gets tough, it's important to have a strong support network around you. I found when you are on a course such as nursing, which is emotionally, mentally, and physically draining, you need people around you who can turn you can turn to. So find out if your university has welfare advisors, if they're easily accessible or not. If you are studying engineering or you're studying IT, find out if the university does any maths in, free maths intensive courses that they're running or not. So finding out these support networks will really help you uh, excel at your studies. And the last thing that I, I believe you need to think about before you choose your program of study is the actual length and duration of that program. So for example, if you want to study a master's program, you need to think about how long it's going to take you to complete that program. Some master's programs can run for six months to a year, some 15 months, and some for two, two years. The duration of that program very much depends on the school's accreditation and also depending on the different country that you would like to go and study at. So, for example, in the U.S., most of the master's programs are one year. In Australia, most of the master's programs are two years. So just do your research and find out exactly how long that particular program is going to take. So finally, I would like to add that this is a very important decision. But my last piece of advice to you would be to always trust your instincts. So I come across a lot of students who are confused about what they're passionate about. You know, if a course is right for you, when you can talk about that subject or that topic for about 10 minutes. When looking at which program is the best suited for you, think of the three C's, course module, career prospects, and the community. The community are the types of people that you like to be around in your free time. And always when in doubt, make a spreadsheet. Make a table with all the programs you have in mind and compare each across a range of different requirements that are important to you. For example, take the three C's. Also take into account the facilities as well as the tuition fees of the program, obviously. The program you choose should be the right one for you, not the right one for others. Find out what careers your chosen subject can lead to and think hard about whether you can see yourself doing those options in the future. And remember, if you make the wrong decision, it's not the end of the world. You can always go back and study a different program or pick a different program once you've had some work experience and you find out exactly what you would like to study for your postgraduate. Now, lots of universities have graduate entry streams for students who want to change their careers. With that, our show concludes today. I hope you found it useful and have enjoyed this show. I look forward to sharing more tips and tricks in our next show. Assalamu alaikum and goodbye until next time.